Right. It looks like we've got Rebecca, Ron, Bob, Inez, Brian, and Dave. Are you there? I'm here. Perfect. Oh, there's Brian. Great. I missed the boardroom where you could like open the door and yell down the hall. Come on, we're going back in now. <laughs> no virtual fix for that. No, but at least Derek is dressed as snazzy as if we were in real uh, real time here. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you for showing up, Derek. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started. I think Dave will probably join us here any minute. All right, I'm going to call to order this meeting with the Newburgh School District Board of Directors. Do we have any volunteers for our flag salute this evening? I will. Great. Thank you, Rebecca, whenever you're ready. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great, thank you. All right, our agenda is not too much tonight. Um, we've got a couple, just two public comments this evening. We'll move into board comments and superintendent comments. Um, take a look at our consent agenda. And then we've got some reports. We've got our in-school um, update from Dr. Morlock uh, and then updates from our two ad hoc committees, the equity committee and the start time committee. And then we'll get a curriculum report from uh, Dr. Brown. And then after that, our new business is an amendment to resolution 2021-02. And then after our regular session, we will uh, we'll adjourn and move into our executive session, um, which is superintendent evaluation. So it may look deceivingly like a small agenda, but uh, for the board members, this is a bit of a marathon so, and Dr. Borlock and Greg, so, um, all right. So for our two public comments tonight, we have uh, Billy Burnett and Susan Delventhal. So let's go ahead and start with Billy if he's available. Um, and then next up we'll have Sue. I am not seeing Billy in our participant list and I'm hoping that the Susan is Susan Devin Delventhal. So should we go ahead to Susan? Yeah, that's a great idea. Are we doing three minutes? Uh, well, tonight we only have two, so I would I would say five would be appropriate um, as long as Billy shows up. But thank you for volunteering as timekeeper again. It's like the official vice chair's role, I think, at this point. Hi, Susan. Hi. Hi. Um, well Thank you for the opportunity to make a public comment tonight. My name is Sue Delventhal. This evening I am sharing a comment with the Newburgh School Board as a Newburgh School District parent with nine years of experience as a former public school educator and eight years of experience as a former McMinnville Montessori School Board member. I have always been invested in education, teachers and students and believe a healthy partnership formed between school board members, parents, teachers, students, and the community will foster a thriving and successful school district. School boards are a group of community leaders elected or appointed by a school district to help set policy for the local schools. The school board monitors physical responsibility and budgets and helps incorporate a community's vision of what students should know and be able to do as they work towards the end goal of high school graduation. The work of school board members is never easy, often unnoticed, unpaid, yet it is the responsibility of school board members to work together respectfully and professionally to accomplish the goals that will improve the success of all students in the school district. Knowing this, I have some general questions I would like board members to think about as I read them. Number one, do I know my role and duties as a school board member? Number two, am I committed to the work surrounding board goals, policy, and budgets that are in the best interest of the school district, its students, teachers, and the community? Number three, 
Is my behavior respectful, kind, and professional when working with fellow board members? Number four, is my behavior respectful, kind, attentive, and seeking understanding when interacting with students, staff, and parents? Number five, am I able to truly listen to others, other ideas, review essential facts, and make policy decisions based on what is best for all students, staff, the district, and the community? Number six, Am I able to set aside my personal interests and focus on the best interests of our students, our teachers, and the district? I am concerned by the behavior of some board members. Over the past year, I have been upset, appalled, and disturbed while viewing several Newburgh school board meetings. We cannot expect students and teachers to feel safe, respected, and valued if some board members don't treat other board members in those ways. Public input, input is useful as a guide in making policy, generating new ideas, understanding concerns, and developing partnerships. If the time allotment for board comments, which follows the public comments, is used as a bully pulpit, pulpit to get the last angry word in by a board member, there is no way students and parents will feel respected and va valued, nor will they build a trusted partnership with fellow board member. Oh, I'm sorry. Nor will they feel safe making public comments in the future. Angry, patronizing, and arrogant words will not build a trusted partnership with fellow board members, teachers, students, and parents. Students of color and those of the LGBTQ plus community will not feel valued, respected, and understood if board members do not support and value equity work. When board members continuously work to undermine the goals and policy work of the district, fail to understand their role and carry out the assigned duties, and are disrespectful and disruptive during board meetings, they should be censured. Board members that did not confidently answer yes to all the six questions I posed earlier should resign and allow an appointed board member to complete their term. Thank you for this opportunity to speak to you. Thank you, Sue, for joining us tonight. Greg, do we see Billy? Oh, no, I do not. I'm trying to get our interpreters up and running as well. Okay. Do Would it be beneficial to wait a second to get that up and running? Um, probably not. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Billy couldn't join us this evening. Um, hopefully he will reach out uh, to the board via email. Okay. With that, let's go on to board comments. Uh, Director Pena, do you have comments this evening? Not this evening, thank you. Uh, Director Shannon, do you have comments this evening? I do not. Okay, uh, Director Woodruff, do you have comments? Uh, yes, I just wanted to say you know, today is the beginning of the filing period for folks who are interested in running for the uh, the positions that are up this year. Zone five is one I will be running for, for re-election. And it's just a good time to reflect on, you know, how much I've learned as a board member and how, uh, how excited I am about continuing that work. It's been an honor and I hope that I'm able to continue to do it. Um, there have been some real challenges and some very exciting things that have happened in the six years that I've been on the board. And I look forward to uh, continuing to serve. Thank you. Uh, Director Brown, do you have comments this evening? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, Director Pyros, do you have comments? Not tonight, thank you. Okay, Brown, this is leaving a ton of time for you and me. Do you have comments? Uh, 
No, actually, I don't. Okay. Well, my comments um, are really just about reflecting. I've been spending a lot of time in the last couple of weeks um, serving in my role uh, on the OSBA board and learning about upcoming legislation that's going to be affecting potentially school boards and school districts. Um, and sitting also as an advisor on the state board and learning about upcoming um, curriculum changes or equity work. There's so much happening and there's such inspiring leaders. And it's really helped me kind of reflect a little bit on my service to this board. And I think it is important that we have dialogue and we have conversations and we have respectful relationships um, because we really do owe it to the students and staff of this district. And I also really wanna to focus too on the actual reality of the amazing work that's happening. I mean, we have teachers putting in 50, 60 hours a week while trying to juggle their own families and their own children's learning. We have mental health counselors that are consistently reaching out and supporting students. And we have outreach workers and we have um, mental health specialists and we have you know school bus drivers and food service workers. And there is a huge amount of energy and it is amazing to see what is getting done every single day. And I, I fear that sometimes that gets lost behind some of these other things. And I just want to acknowledge our, our teachers, our educators, our unions who are working tirelessly with the district to ensure that when we do come back to school, it's safe for everyone. And there is an incredible amount of momentum around this very positive work for our students. And I, I really want people to um, understand the appreciation um, that I have as a board member for that. Thank you. I need to interrupt. Um, we're having a technical difficulty. Um, we didn't have the emails for our interpreters ahead of time and it is not letting me, Zoom is not letting me edit to start up interpretation. So in order for us to have interpretation, we're going to have to quit the meeting, set that up and restart or um, do non-simultaneous, do pause back and forth. So I don't know how you want to proceed. Um, I'm sorry, that would be very difficult to do a non-simultaneous. Um, you, I, I, you, I, you, I will have to wait for you to say the whole phrase or, or the, and then I will have to interpret. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, no, that's okay. Thank you for letting us know. Um, yeah. I'm Maggie, I'm the other interpreter here. Great, thank you for joining us, both of you. Um, we do have yes. quite a few people uh, in attendance tonight and I would hate for anybody to not have that translation services. So um, I think we should sign out and sign back in. And I, I would encourage everybody, especially the attendees to sign back in with us because they also don't wanna lose uh, participation. Of that. And Give me about two minutes because I'm going to have to enter the information for the interpreter side and then I'll start it up as soon as I'm able to. I apologize. And we use the same link you we had before? Yes, you use our same panelist link as before and attendees use the same general link. Okay. Any questions from the board on that? Everybody's clear? Okay. So Brandy, should we set a, a, um, a comeback time then instead of just saying wait a couple minutes? Yeah, I'll go ahead and adjourn us for a quick four minute break. Let's come back at 7.20 um, and we'll, we'll reconvene then. Great. Okay.